G'day everyone, Jai Munji here, and I am back once again with another Sleep Token reaction. Now, like every other reactor on the planet, I did do a reaction to the summoning. I'll leave a link to that below if you haven't checked it out yet. That legitimately was my first time hearing this band, and it was definitely not what I expected. He had one of the heaviest riffs I've ever heard of all time. This dude with this hybrid of amazing clean vocals and just filthy, filthy fucking screams. Now, I've really, really fallen in love with the band since. I've been listening to all the new singles. I've gone back, let's say Alkaline, Hypnotize, all those songs. I really enjoy them. I didn't think it was going to be my music because it was just so so different so wild but i don't know it just works i can understand why they've blown up so much and become so popular so i am back today with take me back to eden the newest single the title track of the new album which is also out today and i cannot wait to listen to all that there's a lot of songs it's a very long album and i think it's over 70 minutes long so i'm very excited so let's not waste any more time let's get to it Okay, this is a bit of a long boy, 8 minutes and 20 seconds. But before I get into it, what I will say as well, um, I'm reacting to a lot of bands that are playing back in 2023 this year. Sleep Token happened to be playing back in 2023 this year. And I want you to have a look at the lineup and suggest bands you think I'd like or you like or I'd enjoy or you think I should check out or just need more recognition and get their name out there. I'll react to it. But for right now, let's get into this. I'll try and not pause it too much as well. At eight minutes in length, I've got a feeling it's going to be maybe more in the lines of Chokehold, a bit softer song. Could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Those animal sounds are really relaxing. Sorry I'm talking over it. I dream in forest for Very relaxing. We dive through crystal words and perfect oceans, but no one's old beyond to breathe. And now the wildness receives. I will stop it for a second. I said I wouldn't pause it too much, and I will keep to that promise. But Vessel has such a beautiful, soulful, almost like voice as well. There's so much emotion in it from his his lows, uh, the vibrato, the highs as well. Everything is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm a vocalist myself. I, I am very jealous <laughs> when I hear it, but I really appreciate it. It's it's something special. Oh. 
Imagine showing this so far to someone who doesn't listen to metal at all. There was no screams in that. In fact, it was the big high voice I was only just talking about before that's so impressive. Because those riffs that Sleep Token use are just some of the heaviest, bone-crushing riffs you can listen to. And he's just got this angelic voice over the top of it. It's just, it's unreal. It's so cleverly done. That's why it's blown up. Um, wow, three minutes into an eight-minute song. I've got a feeling it's going to keep progressing. It's slowly, slowly, slowly building. I wouldn't be surprised if we maybe get some screams in this one towards the end. Maybe. Maybe now. I don't know. I'm gonna get a face reveal here. Well, yeah, I spit blood when I wake up. Sink porcelain, strange choking up brain matter and makeup. Just two days since the mainframe went down and I'm still messed up. Room feels like a meat freezer, I dangle in like cold cuts. Missed calls, answer phones from people I just don't trust. Mirror talk, fake love, but I'll take a pound of your flesh before you take a piece of my paste up. White roses, black doves, got mother. I should have expected it to do something like that. Big long song. There's a lot of chances that Vessel is going to go in there and just change the whole tone, feel of the song. Should have expected that. I don't know. With the kind of, after that big riff and how it came down, you could kind of hear that building up. I did think it was going to go heavy. Wasn't expecting that hip hop element, um, but it fit really well. It actually fit really well. We did get the face reveal. It's more hair. I really like that chorus, and both choruses have felt completely different so far, even though lyrically, pretty much the same. Like I said, if you don't have headphones on, you probably can't hear it, but there's just like a wilderness noise is happening in the background. I can hear little animals running around. It's really, really sweet. I guess it goes to show, does it not? That we've no idea what we've got until we lose it. And no amount of love will keep it around if we don't choose it. You can't see it because I'm blonde and ginger, but that made the hairs of my arms stick up. That was... This song's epic, and it's a bit of everything they do. Almost. Almost. We we haven't hit those uh, big crunchy screams that he does, but I, I don't know. There's just a touch over two minutes left in this song, and I really feel like Take Me Back to Eden. The album's called Take Me Back to Eden. I don't know. It feels like they're just... All the sounds on the new album, they're chucking into this one song. At least that's the vibe I'm getting.
I, I thought I heard that a second ago as well, but then I heard him just say it was no accident. They're, they're the lyrics from um, Chokehold. Where we were made. Yeah, hold on. Let me go back a second. I swear to God I heard him say that part as well. Just he. Yeah, he did. I think it's just going to continue fading out here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, like I said, about, I don't know, three quarters of the way through the song, that song kind of encapsulated everything that they'd done on the previous singles for this album. And the ending on that, that's... Don't know if it was quite as heavy as the summoning. I know four has more screaming, but the summoning definitely has the heavier riff. I don't know. That's pretty fucking close. That, that ended epically and i know because i looked it up beforehand i thought this was going to be the last track on the album there's one more song on the album after that because <sighs> that ended so well that's just such a nice way to cap off the album i'm gonna have to listen to the album and i will i'll do a review uh so if you want to see the review hit subscribe because i'll do it as a short 60 second review uh, i like doing those it's fun to kind of get everything i like about the album crammed in the 60 seconds it drives me mad trying to edit it down uh, but that was great. Like I said, they're playing Vakken as well. I missed out. I was after I listened to The Summoning wanting to go see them in Australia. They only played here two weeks ago, but that show sold out like that. In fact, the whole tour was sold out, so I just couldn't go. So I do have my opportunity in Germany in August. Uh, I am very much looking forward to that. But until then, I've been Jaya Munji. And you know what? Tell me what you thought of the song as well. I, I want to know what you guys think. What's your favorite single? They've all been so vastly different. What's your favorite song off the album? Before I go, leave that down in the comments. But I will sign off now. So I've been Joe Munchie, and you all have a good one.